In today's video, we're talking about a six-headed beast that can find its way into your aquarium and wreak all sorts of havoc, and its name is Hydra. Welcome back, guys. Justin from H2Oplants.com here, and today we're gonna be discussing Hydra. Now, Hydra is a freshwater polyp that is usually a pest to many hobbyists, but a lot of people are conflicted on how to deal with it, but I have a really easy way to just get rid of it in your aquarium. But first, let's talk about exactly what does Hydra do and why it's so impactful in your aquarium. For one, if you have small fry or small fish and small shrimp, you will definitely want to get rid of Hydra because it has these tentacles that can actually sting and hurt your shrimp or fry and actually consume them so it will actually impact your success rate with breeding fish or shrimp. Now Hydra is very easily transmitted from tank to tank mainly because it's easily broken off into fragments and each one of those fragments can form a whole new pest Hydra. So when you get fish from your local fish store, if there was Hydra in the tank water and you accidentally get some tank water into your aquarium, possible that you'll get some fragments of hydra and those can form new polyp as well as any plants it could look like a form of algae when you put it into your aquarium it can produce new hydra and you'll get it in your tank now they're mostly attracted to dirty tanks so keeping your tank clean is a good way to prevent them from being able to establish however in clean tanks it can still happen now, there's many ways to get rid of hydra that i've seen out there you could raise the temperature of the water you could get fish like mollies or paradise fish that eat it or you could do the easiest method and that's chemical now i've used two out of the three products that i'm going to mention here today about the chemical way, but there are three in general that I have read up on and done plenty of research to indicate that all three are really good at destroying Hydra, as well as many other things. So first off, we have fish fenbenazole, and this is basically just a dedicated fish medication that is anti-parasitic. Now this will not only take care of Hydra, but also other pest parasites that may find your way into your aquarium. So having this on hand may be a good option. However, the main chemical in this is fenbenazole, and that's also found in dog dewormer. So I have some dog dewormer here and both can treat hydra as well as other creatures like planaria, detritus worm, or any other kind of worm-like creatures, even some leeches, this stuff is good to get rid of if you ever get freshwater leeches. Now typically what you would wanna treat is 0.1 grams per 10 gallons, so that's a 10th of a gram, and these come in 25 milligram packages, so basically like almost a half of a packet per 10 gallons, which this one has 30 packets. It was probably like 20 or 30 bucks from Amazon. This one I do believe came with six packets and they are roughly about the same 222 milligrams so basically about the same however this is going to be much cheaper because much with other aquarium related products you get an aquarium tax on this so it's going to be a bit more expensive than just traditional dog warmer and i have gotten the aok -okay both by many shrimp breeders that say these work for shrimp however if you're really worried and maybe not sure if you want to try these there's another product called no planaria and no planaria is typically used to get rid of planaria which is another common pest inside of a shrimp tank. However, no planaria also will kill high. I'll leave the links to all three products down below. If you want to check them out, you can find them on Amazon. They're readily available. But overall, I know they work because the tank right here to my left actually got Hydra in it as well as the 10 gallon tank that we have downstairs for holding some plants. Not sure how it came across. It could have just been my plant shipment and it wound up in the aquariums. Now I treated using the fish benazole because that's what I had on a hand at the time, but I wanted to pick this up and give it a go, but I got rid of all the hydra so i use this so what i did is i added in one dose on the first day i waited until the second day i saw a significant impact in the hydra that we had in this tank and then i did a second dose and after the second dose on the third day they were completely gone and i did a water change on the tank and that was it so really two doses and it's gone it's really easy to get rid of it using these these are really by far the best method to use they don't harm the plants they don't harm the fish they will harm however snails so if you have any valuable snails that you don't want to possibly risk losing definitely take those out put them in like a secondary container for a day or two and then do a full water change or at least a 50% water change and then you could probably introduce them without any problem that's really it these are great products to have on hand they treat a wide variety of things I would definitely probably just go with a dog dewormer I believe it's gonna be cheaper but if you want to get something more dedicated specifically to fish definitely check out fish benazole or no planaria and you should be fine if you enjoyed this video 
make sure you hit that like button. But if you've ever had Hydra in your tank or know ways to deal with it, drop them in the comments below so other people can look at that and maybe get other ways if they don't want to maybe go the chemical route. If you want to help support these videos and make them happen, you can visit our website, h2oplants.com, pick up many plants and other goods for your aquarium. But if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, you can click the round button there to do so. If you want to check out how we set up this tank, you can click over here. And if you want to see our video on the perfect aquarium plant, you can click right there. And I'll see you guys on the next one.